Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4 Ray, and welcome back to Planet Crafter. I have been doing a ton of off camera work. Okay. I just came from the auto miner that is getting me um, aluminum, actually, the three auto miners. And I'm going to now put this stuff away and I'm going to show you how organized I have become. Uh, I now have four, <laughs> four uh, chests for each item for the most part. Uh, I've got cobalt. Yeah, I've got some cobalt. So. Um, I've, I've got four chests for all the main stuff, right? Aluminum included. There we go. And we've got silicon. And what I do is I, I fill these up in order with the close, with the chest close to the entrance. So I know which one I have to go to next and, you know, keep things, uh, somewhat organized. I don't have any magnesium. Um, the iron is, I did, I did use a lot of iron. I had like so much iron. I actually tried to throw stuff away. And when I threw stuff on the ground, it stayed there for days. It would not disappear. I'm assuming it would disappear at some point, but I, I got sick of waiting for it. So then I made a uh, recycler, which destroys stuff. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's just make more room, man. Like, we just make more room. It's all good. We got seeds right here. These are not being used. Uh, where's my... Where is the super alloy? Is the super alloy over here? I'm still getting used to this a little bit. So there's iridium rods. Iridium. Uranium rods. Uranium. There's the super alloy. So we got four things for super alloy. Cool, cool. And then we have water as in change. I put a couple more food things in here. That's just miscellaneous. And this right here is my rares or what I would consider rare stuff. And I did get some pulse cords, man. I had an asteroid come down. A giant asteroid. It was only one. It wasn't like a meteor shower. It was just one asteroid. And it came down right behind me. And it dropped uh, It dropped that those uh, crystals. I don't know if there's any more around here. I think they all disappeared. Or I got, I got all the ones I could, but the there was a couple that... Oh, no, there's one. I can see it. There, right there. But I got to wait for these, like, rocks to go away because... Oh, here we go. There's one. And I'm going to need that to make myself a... Oh, I can make one right now. I can make a nuclear fusion generator. I'm not going to because I don't need to. And I'm assuming... I, I've got a lot of power. I'll show you. But um, I might make it eventually. But I'm assuming these court, this court is, is going to be used for other things. So, I just got to keep an eye on that when those rocks disappear. The rocks will disappear slowly, you know, over time. Well, I went ahead and took down every single solar panel I had. I didn't like the solar panels just taking up too much room. So, I went ahead and took all those up. I also de I also took apart every single small generator. And now we have eight of these uh, nuclear reactor uh, tier twos. And I also made some more heat thingies. I made one extra. I made one heat thingy. And put it out there and and then i moved the one that was over here over to there and i think the, oh yeah i also launched a um a gps gps satellite i think it's called let me see uh yeah gps satellite but the problem is until i get the uh the i don't know what it's called like the it's one of these things like the the screens is, are they called screens uh, yeah screens until I get the proper screen, this doesn't really help me. So that was a little bit of a waste, but at least it'll be up there when I get the screen. In order to get the screen, I have to get more of those blue chips. Um, so that is what we're looking at. Oh, yeah, I also made a bunch more of these um, these food thingies, and I put some stuff over here. Let's just go ahead and pick all these. So I think we're in a good spot to do some real damage in this episode. <laughs> and by damage, I mean progression. I've got some other stuff to show you though, but I've got to get prepared. We're going to go for a little walk. When I say a little walk, I do mean a little walk. It shouldn't be uh, too hard to get over to where I'm going. Um, I went ahead and I found a super alloy mine. I put down a tier two extractor and I also found a sulfur mine and put down a tier two extractor. So, and I think I've got two tier two extractors on each one. So. It's going to be freaking crazy. It's going to be crazy. When do I get that teleporter? I know there's a teleporter in the game. I just, I want it. And I want it now. So we are going to be looking pretty good now. The only thing is that quartz. I don't know what that quartz is going to be used for other things. We'll just kind of have to see. Um, I'm going to show you where you can get a bunch of super alloy. <clears throat> and you can also get the sulfur. We're going to come over here to the sulfur area. So there's that big ship that's right next to me. You know, that big crash ship. I'm going to make a left over here. And this will bring you to the sulfur fields. Okay. Sulfur is really important, man. It really is. You need it for the explosive powder. And I just need to find where I put down my machine. I thought I put down my machine closer than I am right now. Um, pretty sure I just put it out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should have found it by now. 
This is making me a little nervous, but that's okay. We'll find it eventually. It'll be okay. So look at that over there. All that, like, sand coming down. It's almost like a, like a sand waterfall. It's freaking nuts. Okay. I can't find the sulfur. <laughs> I can't find the freaking... Where I put down the sulfur... Auto miners, so that's okay. I probably put it in a cave somewhere. I'll go. I'll go look. I'll go look for that later. Let's go to the to the super alloy, which I know I put down where it's supposed to be. I believe I did that. I don't know. I think I think I know where it is. <laughs> just, dude, I sat down and played this game for like four hours straight last night, just grinding and getting stuff set up for today's episode. So it was a bit of a it was a bit of a thing, you know. And right in here. And there. Oh, I only put down one. Okay. All right. That's fine. I'm going to put down a living quarters here. And this will be a permanent one. I'll leave it here. And maybe I'll have, and I'll like have storage in here and stuff. So I can clear this out. So let's take a look what we got here. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we will leave that to do its work. Yeah. One of those is, is enough. One of, I hope it's enough because that's all I put down. All right. I'm going to go back to my iridium mine. The iridium mine is that, well, iridium mine right by my base where I have like four extractors down. And then I'm going to go into the back of that. And, um, well, let me just show you. Here we are in the iridium mine. Here's all my miners. My base is right over there. I'm just trying to give you an exact idea of where I am. Just, you know, not everyone watches every video. By the way, this is the, uh, the shredder machine that I've been using to destroy stuff. And, um, <laughs> oh, I want to show you this too really quick. We're going to go off a little side thing here. So check this out. You see this little vine that goes all the way up there? You can climb this. Look at that. Now we're up here. And there's some of the zeolite up here. And I don't know what else. What is that? It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, we're going to grab some of the zeolite. I, I came up here. So I was like, what is this? And then I just went right back down because I wanted to show you guys when I came up here. All right. Oh, goodness. There's a lot more. Right, let's take a let's take a look around here. Uh, we definitely want that and the zeolite. I'll keep, I'll trade out some of this stuff for zeolite and blue chips. We definitely want blue chips. Blue chips are really really important. And more zeolite, more plants. Oh oh my goodness. Holy crap. Oh yeah, you could pick these uh llama these llamas. You could pick these common larvas up as well. That is a hell of a view. Dude, I'm just standing up there admiring the view and I didn't realize my oxygen was getting so low. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta I gotta start carrying back up oxygen with me. I really don't want to die because of something so stupid. Uh <laughs> well I, I I got everything up there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, well, I'm going to really quickly go home and then come back here because there's no point in me going to my sulfur extractors if I don't have any room for anything. So, um, yeah, let me go back to the base and I'll catch back up with you when I get back. And just like that, I am back and my inventory is cleared out. I'm pretty sure I came through here to get to the sulfur fields and then put down the auto miners. It's starting to come back to me. Like I said, for our game session, I just, <laughs> just you know, kind of goes... It kind of goes out of my brain at a certain point. So there we go. Um, I really want to bring back all of the sulfur I can. So I will do that. And I shouldn't need any oxygen stops or anything to go out to either of these mines. I should be able to get there and back without needing food or oxygen, which means I can just carry as much stuff as I want, which will be awesome. And even the one at the super alloy one, I actually have a little breathing station there because it is a little farther than this one. So that's what I did. I got both of those down. That is awesome. Um, the only thing I'm not generating automatically now is zeolite and the quartz. Um, I think it's called quartz. I don't know why I have trouble remembering what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's called quartz. I gotta go check out behind my house, too. There might be some on the ground. We'll do that in one second. We just gotta make some room for the inventory. I've also been putting, uh, you know, windows and stuff in my base to make it look nicer. Because that kind of stuff is important to me. Titanium. 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 And let's go ahead and see if that quartz is there. Go check it out real quick. Alright, what do we got over here? Uh, yep, there it is. Awesome. Oh man, there's a, there's a lot of pulsar quartz. I'll just call it quartz. Oh, awesome. 
And there's only one me meteor. When, when I went out there, it was like giant. I was like, whoa, what the hell is this? And uh, I was a little nervous, but yeah, it hit the ground. And once I saw the quartz, I was like, yes, yes, this is exactly what I needed. So I was thinking this would be a good time to start automation. All right, so the automation I can do right now is the auto crafter. I'm not sure exactly how automation works. I'm going to kind of just go with it, uh, but I can make the auto crafter and the auto crafter has a certain range around it and the it'll take anything from the inventory or out in the world and craft stuff. So I have this thing set up to make um, iridium rods. So anytime any of these um, containers get nine iridium, like in total, not like just one container, but all of them, it'll make iridium rods, which is pretty cool. And you can see right here, it shows exactly what it has in it within range, which is awesome. And um, yeah, that should be pretty cool. And uh, oh, there's a, well, one other thing I want to show you. This is the next thing I'm going to be messing around with. So another thing you can make in here, like there's all kinds of stuff you can make. You don't, you could also make drones, freaking drones. Can you believe that? Where do I get circuit boards? Well, as of right now, I do not have access to circuit boards. Maybe you could find them in certain loot. I don't know. But remember those tier... Oh, boy. Hold on. On my way back, I got hit by an asteroid and almost got one shot. And it was not fun. Not fun indeed. But I did get some uh, super alloy, which is great. And, okay, back to what I was talking about. Okay, so remember the, remember when I was in those ships and there was, like, those things that I needed tier 2 deconstructor to take out? That's what I need to get circuit boards. So, uh, but you got to learn it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to learn from these two blue chips I got. And if I don't learn it, then I'm kind of screwed. So we'll just kind of go as we go. Uh, mapping? Oh, screen mapping. Is that the one I need? I don't know. It's not the one I need for what I was just talking about, but for the GPS satellite. Ah, oh, the big living quarters. Cool. So the mapping screen. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need a microchip compass, iron, and silicon. So I really want to make a beeline for tier three. Tier three auto miners. Okay. I've got the, well, actually, I don't know how much they cost. I can make, I can make one of those, uh, crazy, what are those things called? I can make one of these for power. If I need to, the nuclear, the nuclear fusion reactor, which I probably will have to, uh, for the tier three, uh, extractors, but I really want them. So I got to get the pressure like going crazy. All right. In order to get the pressure going crazy, I'm going to do the drill and then I'm going to send up some rockets and we're going to go, we're going to go nuts. Now I do need blue chips. I think next episode, I'm going to do a, a an exploration episode so I can get some blue chips. But in the meantime, we're going to go nuts with the with the with the pressure. We're just going to get this going. Uh, we also have to start looking at insects at some point uh, because now we're in the insect. Actually, we went straight from the insect. We went straight through insects and trees. I think we're working on breathable oxygen at this point. Let's take a look. Yeah. Look at that. We're 10%, almost 10%. Wait, when are trees? Are trees before insects? I guess they are. Um, but yeah, we're man, a million things to do, guys. There's a million things to do. And, you know, I'm just trying to do my best. I love this game. Uh, you know, you got to keep your player base busy, and this game surely does. All right, let's go ahead and put down another one. And I'm just going to put down as many as I can to heck with it. Why not? And then I'm going to set up some rockets. Let's go take a look at our pressure now. 400,000, but it's uh, barely moving. <laughs> well, I'm up for the challenge. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm going to go to my uh, rares. Still getting used to the layout of the, you know, the layout, the uh, inventory stuff, since it's all like organized and stuff. Super alloy, super alloy, super alloy. And I do believe these are my best pressure things. That's got a pressure of 459. I don't know if anything has anything higher than that. Um, this is a pressure, yeah, 85, 15. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that has better pressure than that. So let's put some more of these down. I was about a thousand power above what I had, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. These are using, oh, 45 energy? No problem. That ain't no thing. All right, so now we're running out of super alloy. I might want to, like, calm it down a little bit and maybe do some rockets now because I'm going to need a lot of super, valo super alloy for the rockets. Now we're up to 500 and 528,000, right? 
and let's see what we got as far as the these go. So we've got um, heat ninth. Right, you know what? Let's just set up a bunch of rockets. This will be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna set up quite a few of them. So I was gonna set up a bunch of rockets, and then I realized my uranium was eh, a little on the low side. And the rockets I'm going for are heat, which will give me iridium, not uranium. So I came out here and I found a cave that has uranium in it. And don't worry, I will show you where the cave is on the way home. But we will have some uranium being taken care of here. And it well, looks pretty good. I'm not going to grab any for the way home because I'm going to uh, be looting on the way. Because I did see a lot of loot containers on the way out. Um, the only thing is, if I don't take this, I won't have oxygen for myself. So I'm going to have to take that. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't think I care about any of this, really. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll take it all. And if I like end up having more room, I'll just, you know, if I don't if I don't have enough room on the other things I loot, I'll just drop that stuff back in there. So I'm going to do my best to show you where this area is. I don't have a map, although I kind of have a map back at base. We'll, you know, go over that in a minute. Right there is a big circle thingy. That should give you an idea where I am. And if you go left, that will go back to my base. Now down here, I think there is, yep, there's a satellite down here. And I think these things have special loot or something. I don't remember. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, circuit board. Oh, we got a circuit board. Oh, doggy. I'm going to take it all. Oh, that is freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome. Now maybe I can make a drone. Even if I can make one drone just to see how they work, that would be great. So if you come over here, there is the aluminum. So there's the aluminum fields right by my base. My base is on the other side of the aluminum fields. So if you come over here and make a right, that's where that uranium mine is. And I think it's the closest one to my base. Eh, maybe not, but I think it's it's one of the closest ones to my base. So, oh, that's freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, there's more loot over here. I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm going to... Eh, I guess I won't go for more loot. There's no point. I'm already full. I'm already full, so that's fine. I was thinking about maybe setting up an auto crafter for the uranium, but the, the uranium that I need is not necessarily uranium rods. The uranium I need is actually uranium. All right, because when I go to launch a rocket, um, if to make a rocket engine, it takes two uranium. So I needed to get some automated automation going with the uranium. Although it's going to be tough because that really is far away. But I guess as I keep going out there, I'll like get out there quicker and stuff. I'll remember exactly how to get there and all that good stuff. So. I'm going to come in here so I can do some breathing. Beautiful. And let's get back to let's get back to base. Let's organize and then we're going to make our first drone. Oh, freaking drones, man. That the drones, maybe I can set up the drones to go bring the uranium back to base. That would be that would be quite helpful. I'm going to make an auto crafter here, although I I'm not using it for an auto crafter. I'm using it to make the drones. I don't think those drones were an option anywhere else. So you know, there we go. All right, drones, drone time. All right, so we're gonna need a rocket engine. I don't think we have one. Now, can I put this stuff down here? Will that will that count? Like, do I have to have it in a actual storage bin or? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go make a rocket engine. See what I need for them? Uh, iridium, uranium, uranium, and super alloy. Iridium. Uranium, uranium, and super alloy. Darn it, I gotta get used to the... Oh, here we go. Iridium. Uranium, uranium. And super... Uh, nope. Ah! Alright, there we go. Now we should have a rocket engine. And let's see if we can make this stuff in here. I don't think it's gonna work. I guess I can just throw them on the floor. Oh, there we go. Transports materials from supply inventories, inventories, inventories to corresponding demand in inventories. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? Man, I can't even use that freaking drone. There's some kind of drone dock. I got to get to like terraformation index like 60 or so. Um, that's a bit of a bummer, but all right, we're going to stay focused. We're going to be going for pressure which means we're going to need silicon. Okay. I've actually been saving up quite a bit of silicon, which is nice. People tell me silicon's like a big problem with a lot of their games, so I have been saving it. I put this auto crafter down here to make a bunch of these things for me, which is just fantastic. I will now pick it up. 
And we now need just as much silicon as we can carry. Um, you know, why don't we just put this down somewhere else? I'll just put it back down here just to get the stuff out of my inventory. All right, so we're gonna need silicon and we're going to need super alloy. Yeah, and then a bunch of silicon. We're just gonna launch as many of these things as we possibly can. Hopefully that's everything we need. And we're just gonna try and get that pressure up, man. I want that tier three miner. If you can get the tier three miner, you can set up the, the tier three miner to specifically mine one thing. And then you could might be able to like start working with those auto crafters a little bit, um, a little bit better. So right, heat pressure. There we go. And we're gonna just have a butt ton of uranium soon. <laughs> And you just wait for that to get off the platform before that before you put down your next rocket. They can glitch out a little bit. Um, pressure. They can glitch out a little bit if you put it down too quickly. Um, wait, purple. Oh, they look like purple for a minute. Uh, so you want to wait. Now, I've had them glitch out, and it didn't really matter. They kind of still went up. It was fine. But at the same time, you know, if you can avoid the glitch, why not, right? And who knows? Maybe one time when it's going sideways, it is going to cause a problem. So check this out. The asteroids are still coming down. And if I look on my GPS satellite, uh, I don't know, screen, it shows you where they're landing, which is pretty cool. And once I get better, G this starts like this. And once I get better GPS stuff, I could kind of scroll out. Although it doesn't show anything on the map, like, except for like basic stuff. It's not like it's showing me where to go get materials, but that's okay. It's still pretty neat. My pressure is up to almost a million but it's still barely tiptoeing by. That needs to get up to 13. That's going to take a long time. That is going to take a long time. And um, O2 is, you know, it's creeping along as well. So what I think I would like to do now is I'd like to make more of these flower spreaders. I think that'd be a good idea. Um, it's not even so much for the oxygen. It's more for the um, bio uh, plants. I've been ignoring biomass and plants, um, which has probably been a mistake. Uh, so it is what it is. I'd like to get the plants going because once I get the plants going, I can start working on insects. So I'm going to put this down and then we will be also working on biomass at some point. Maybe today, maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's just see where we want to put these. I'll put them kind of out here and we're just going to put a lot of them down. Oh, why didn't it stay up? I held the, I held the control button. Oh, I don't have enough water. That's why. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's grab some more water. I'm going to go inside and get some more water. I think we are kicking butt and taking names. There we go. Or maybe I'm just playing on gas and I could be doing things a lot quicker than I am. But uh, Oh, is that the big one? Yep, that's the big one. That's going to have quartz on it. Yeah, let's just watch it land. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes, boy. You can hit my thing. You ain't gonna be. You ain't gonna hurt my base. My base is legit, bro. Get on my level. It's gonna hit. Right, it's gonna hit right in my dome. Wow. Ooh. Holy moly. All right, I'll pick up that stuff later when all the rocks go away. It's not like it's gonna go anywhere. And it's freaking funny. I'm glad you guys got to see that. All right. So there. Yep. Yeah, there we go. As many of these as I can. Is that it? Uh, yep, that's it. Alright, cool. Now we're going to bring out the seeds. And the seeds really don't help with the planting. Like the growth of the... Uh, wait. Here, well, I'll show you when I get out there. The seeds don't make the plant thing go up any faster. But it does make the oxygen. And I have the seeds. So why wouldn't I use them? Alright, so... Put these in order. And these are the best. I don't think I put down more than that. So what you're going to see is the oxygen is going to going to skyrocket when I put the seeds in there, but the plants will stay the same. Got one. You do not have one. Okay, so uh, the oxygen it doesn't even say the oxygen. It says plants 43. I put one of these in here. Now it says oxygen 1.95 ppt. Plant stays the same. Which is fine. That is fine. Oh, I didn't even notice the, um... Did you notice that the flowers, like, surrounding are different depending on what seed you put in there? That is a nice touch. 
That is a really nice touch. Good on ya. Wow, that is, um... That's pretty freaking dope, man. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. I did not expect that. Let's go see what's going on with our oxygen now. And let's take, take a look at our next milestones. All right, so oxygen is at 333,000. We gotta get more rockets up for oxygen for sure. And we should probably also be working more on heat. I think pressure's looking pretty good. Um, that's what my power is at. Ooh, power is right there. Crap, I didn't even notice that. I'm gonna have to make more of this. And the next thing we get, oh, teleporter 25. Oh my God, I want that teleporter. I want that teleporter and I want it bad. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, tree spreader tier two, which is weird because I don't think I have a tree spreader. So I don't know why I'm getting a tier two. Um, and then the extractor, man, that's going to take forever, dude. Like seriously. And then over here we have food grower grows food better. Um, uh, the beehive and we haven't even started these two down here. All right, guys, I do think I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.